This is Mrs. Appiah with Lesson 8, Similarity. Our essential question, what is the precise definition of similarity? For discussion, so you don't need to copy these questions down. A dilation alone is not enough to state that two figures are similar. Considering the following pairs of figures, S and SO, do the figures look similar? Yes, they look like the same shape, but they are a different size. How could you prove that they are similar? What would you need to do? We would need to show that they could become the same size by dilating one of the figures. Would we be able to dilate one figure so that it is the same size as the other? Yes, we could dilate to make them the same size by using the appropriate scale factor. We could make them the same size, but would a dilation alone map figure S onto SO? No, a dilation alone would not map figure S onto SO. Remember that they are not in the same orientation. One is sideways, one is facing up. What else should we do to map figure S onto SO? We would have to perform a translation and a rotation to map figure S onto SO. Pause the video and copy the mathematical definition of similar. Two figures are said to be similar if one can be mapped onto the other using a dilation followed by a congruence, or a congruence followed by a dilation. Recall that a congruence is a sequence of basic rigid motions mapping one figure onto the other. Example 1. You may want to label your figures with larger letters as I have below. In the picture below, we have triangle ABC. It has been dilated from center O using a scale factor of half, and this is noted A prime, B prime, C prime. We also have triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, which is congruent to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. And notice that this congruency is shown with a symbol. Our goal for example one is to show that triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime is similar to the original triangle ABC. So we will describe the sequence that would map triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime onto triangle ABC. Since the triangle is a different size and in a different location, it will require two steps. The sequence that would re be required, we will need a dilation followed by a congruence. So when you're doing a dilation, remember you need to say what center you're dilating from and what scale factor we'll use. This was dilated from the center, O, using a scale factor of 1 half. To undo that back to the original size, we will need to use the reciprocal of the scale factor. So the original scale factor was 1 half, and then we will use the reciprocal of 1 half. When we dilate this figure, this is the figure that we're going to dilate. When we dilate it, remember that if we're using the reciprocal of 1 half, that will be 2. So we are doubling this, and it will end up over here and we'll dilate point B over here, and we'll dilate point C, and it will be over here. So our triangle will be twice the size, and it will be in this location. Okay, so our first step is to a uh, dilation from center O using our scale factor of 2, which is the reciprocal of the original scale factor. Recall that to do the dilation, we'll take each point and we'll write down the original coordinates. So our coordinates of A double prime. 
the coordinate for that point is 11, 4. Dilating it with a scale factor of 2, we'll multiply each of those coordinates by 2. And that will be called A triple prime. Then we'll go ahead and graph that point. Repeat the process for B double prime and C double prime. And then graph your triangle and label it. We've dilated A double prime, B double prime, C double prime with our scale factor of 2. And that results in the A triple prime, B triple prime, and C triple prime. So the dilation of 2 made it the right size. The next thing we need to do is we need to map this triangle onto the original triangle. And that will prove our similarity. Notice that the segment AB is parallel to A triple prime, B triple prime, and BC is parallel to the corresponding side, and AC is parallel to its corresponding side. Since all three are the same size and are parallel, we know that a simple translation will map the figure onto the original. Now when we were mapping in open space we used a vector. Since we're mapping on the coordinate plane we will use a movement of along the grid lines of a horizontal and then a vertical movement. So we can move point B left and down. Then we'll also need to move point A left and down, and point C, left and down. Since we're moving all of them the same distance and direction, we can write that in one step. So we're going to try translate triangle A triple prime, B triple prime, C triple prime, and we'll translate that left 20 units and then down 2 units. And that will take our triangle, we'll move it left 20 units, and then down 2 units. And that will translate our figure to the original position. And that shows similarity. So we have triangle A triple prime, B triple prime, C triple prime similar to triangle A, B, C. Actually, let's fix that. I'm going to pause that and undo it. After our translation, left unit, left 20 units and down 2 units, we now have triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, similar to triangle A, B, C. Reviewing our steps, our goal was to show that these two triangles are similar. So we started out with a dilation followed by a congruence. The dilation changes the size to the correct size. So we took this one and we dilated it using the reciprocal of the original scale factor. Then we did a translation showing that this one could be mapped onto the original one. This is example two. In the picture below, we have triangle DEF. It has been dilated from center O using a scale factor of three. We also have triangle D double prime, E double prime, F double prime, which is congruent to triangle D prime, E prime, F prime, and that is shown with a congruency symbol. We want to describe a sequence that would map triangle D double prime, E double prime, F double prime onto triangle D, E, F. Notice that they are in a different size and a different location. So this will require two steps. It will require a dilation 
to get to the right size, and then a congruence to map it to the right location. So first let's get started with the dilation. For our dilation, we need to state what, where we are dilating from. So we will dilate from center O. You also need to say what scale factor you'll use. Recall that we will use the reciprocal of the original. So the reciprocal of 3 is 1 -third. So our scale factor will be 1 -third. Recall that you dilate a figure on the coordinate plane by multiplying each coordinate by the scale factor. So what we'll need to do is we will need to take the coordinates d double prime and we will need to multiply those by a third and that will give us the coordinates of d triple prime. So go ahead and pause the video and dilate this figure with your scale factor of one third and then label your dilated figure. Step number one is completed. I've dilated from center O using my scale factor of one third. Next, I will need to change the location of my dilated triangle using a sequence of rigid motions. Since my corresponding sides are not parallel, I know that a simple translation will not map the triangle onto triangle DEF, so it will require a series of rigid motions. To map triangle D triple prime, E triple prime, F double prime onto this triangle, Recall from your study on congruence how to do that. We will need to move the location and we will also need to rotate it into position. Moving it to the right location, recall that since we are on a coordinate plane, we'll talk about moving it instead of along a vector, we will use left and right and then up or down. So here we'll need to move our whole triangle left two units. So that will move F double prime to F, and it will move D double prime here, and it will move E double prime here. So let's go ahead and write that out. Our next step will be to translate. When you translate on the coordinate plane, you say what direction you're going and how many units. So we will translate to the right two units. Translating to the right two units, we'll move our triangle here. Next, what would you do to map that triangle onto triangle DEF? You would need a reflection. Then when you reflect a line, you need to say what you are reflecting over. If we reflect over this line, it will map triangle D triple prime E triple prime F onto D E F. So our final step is to reflect over the X axis. Example 3. In the diagram above, triangle ABC is similar to triangle A prime B prime C prime. Describe a sequence of a dilation followed by a congruence that will prove that these figures are similar to each other. Let's start with our dilation. This is the original figure. Go ahead and label it. To prove similarity, we need to map the original figure onto the new figure. 
In order to do that, we need to use a scale factor. So first we need to know what size, what scale factor would we use to dilate the larger figure onto the smaller figure. Recall that the scale factor can be figured out using corresponding lengths. We can use the original length and the dilated length and look at the ratio. So we have the dilated length over or divided by the original length and that will tell us our scale factor. The original length is two units and the dilated length is one unit. So our scale factor that was used is one half. So we will dilate triangle ABC from center O and we will use scale factor one half and that will get our original triangle to the correct size. Recall how to do that. You write the original coordinates, multiply them by half, and then draw and label the dilated figure. Pause the video and complete that step. I've dilated my figure, so it now is the correct size. Next, I will need to do a congruence to map tri triangle A triple prime, B triple prime, C triple prime over to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Notice that this is going to require two steps. I will need to translate it along and instead of using vectors, we say the horizontal and vertical movements and then we will need to reflect it. So I'm going to um, translate this entire triangle and I'm going to move it one, two, three, four spaces down. So my second step, translate triangle A triple prime, B triple prime, C triple prime. And I need to say which direction and how far. I'm going down four units. So here I'm going down four units and then I will need to line up side AB and for that I'm also going to move it to the right. One, two, three. So I'm going to add that. I went down four units and then I need to go right three units. Finally, I will need to reflect. When you reflect, you need to say what segment you are reflecting over. So I am reflecting over segment A prime, B prime. We did our sequence of a dilation followed by our congruence. Our dilation was from center O using a scale factor of one half and that got our triangle to be the right size. Now we need to move it to the right location. To move it to the right location, first we translated down four units and then to the right, three units. Our last step then is to reflect it and we reflect it over that segment and that maps it to the right location and then that shows our similarity and we can write that statement triangle ABC is similar to triangle A prime B prime C prime. Example 4. In the diagram below we have two similar figures. Using the notation we have triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. We want to describe a sequence of the dilation followed by congruence 
that would prove these figures to be similar. We are given that side AC has a length of 18 units and that side DF has a length of 6 units. To prove similarity, we want to map triangle ABC onto triangle DEF. We will need to do that through a dilation and a congruence. So let's start with our dilation. We'll, dil we'll have a dilation from center O. And we will need to calculate our scale factor. In our previous problem, we were able to determine the length of the triangle because it had a vertical segment that we could count along the grid. In this figure, we do not have any vertical or horizontal segments to count. However, they have given us the information for one segment. It's important to note that these two sides correspond to each other. AC is the longest side on the large triangle, and DF is the longest side on the smaller triangle, and they are corresponding sides. So we can determine our scale factor. Recall that that is the dilated length divided by the original length. Our dilated length is 6, our original length is 18, and so our scale factor is 1 third. So a dilation from the center O using a scale factor of 1 third. Pause the video and dilate the original figure using a scale factor of 1 third. Next, I will need to use a congruence to map triangle A prime, B prime, C prime onto triangle D, E, F. Recall from our work in congruence on module two that this congruence will require three steps. First, we'll need to translate our figure to the right location. Then we will need to rotate it into position. And finally, we will need to reflect it over a segment. So first, what we'll want to do is we want to move point C to point E. And we'll move point C right and then down. So that is a translation, right, and the number of units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then down 2 units. Right, then down. Next, we'll rotate D degrees around point E. Our final step will be to reflect. over segment E, F. And that will map our triangle. A prime, B prime, C prime onto triangle E, F, D. This proves that triangle 
ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Example 5. Knowing that a sequence of a dilation followed by a congruence defines similarity also helps determine if two figures are in fact similar. So here we have triangle ABC. The length of BC is 15 units. The length of AC is 18 units. And here we have triangle DEF. And the segment DF is 6 units. And the segment EF is 4 units. Let's highlight the corresponding sides. So we have the longest side, which is AC, and the longest side, which is DF. And then we have the shorter side, which is 15, and the shorter side, which is 4. Would a dilation map triangle ABC onto triangle DEF? That is to say, is triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF? Well, let's take a look at their corresponding sides and see if they are in proportion. We have segment BC, and that is 15 units. And we're going to compare that to the corresponding segment, which is EF which is 4 units. And then we also have AC, which is 18 units. And we're going to compare that to the other figure, which is 6 units. So this has a ratio of 3, and this does not have a ratio of 3. This has a ratio of 3 and 3 fourths. Since, they, since the segments are dilated at a different scale factor, these are not similar. Triangle ABC is not similar to triangle DEF. There's no dilation that would make triangle ABC the same size as triangle DEF. How do I know? Because the corresponding sides are not in proportion, they do not have the same scale factor. Example 6. Would a dilation map figure A onto figure A prime? That is to say, is figure A similar to figure A prime? Well, let's take a look at the corresponding sides. For our corresponding sides, we have 16 and 8 and 24 and 12. 16 and 8, 24 and 12. Notice that these have a ratio of 2. However, are they the same shape? No. They can't be similar if they're different shapes. This problem is tricky if you look only at the side lengths. So remember to look at the shape as well. You cannot map a four-sided figure onto a three-sided figure. Let's continue to the summary. Similarity is defined as mapping one figure onto another as a sequence of a dilation followed by congruence which is a sequence of rigid motions. The notation, this symbol, means is similar. So we say triangle ABC is similar to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. That concludes lesson eight.